Snakes are scary and full of anger. They're always attacking other animals or even humans, but sometimes the fight they start is a huge mistake. Just you wait and see. These are 15 times snakes messed with the wrong opponent. Number 15. Leopard vs. Python To be fair to this snake, there aren't many creatures on Earth who can take on a leopard and come out totally unscathed. But that aside, this python really did just pick the wrong animal to try and take on. Rookie mistake, my friend. Rookie mistake. The fight erupted in South Africa's Kruger National Park, and it's fascinating to watch the whole thing unfold. The video begins with the snake seemingly minding its own business until the leopard arrives, clearly curious about this strange looking animal. The leopard sniffs around, but when the animal doesn't move, the cat goes to get a closer look at the snake's head, and that's when he gets a fright. Apparently the snake hissed at the leopard, which is why the fight kicked off. And again, all respect to the python, there's not much chance of winning a fight against a leopard, especially not when the big cat starts dragging him around all over the place. Some people will dispute whether or not the python actually started the fight, but the point is that it had no real chance of winning. This is just a very, very poor choice of opponent. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. This remarkable image shows what happened when a python chose to mess with a Komodo dragon. As you can see, there was a terrible mistake on the python's part. The poor Komodo dragon was just having a gentle snooze and the python decided to attack for seemingly no reason. Unfortunately for the python, the Komodo dragon proved to be stronger than the python expected, and the snake barely escaped alive. Incredible, don't you think? As always, comment down below with the hashtag Juicy topic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Number 14. Tiger vs. Python Prepare for the fight of the century, the king of the jungle versus the king of… slithery things. Unfortunately, there's not much tension here since you already know the title of the video, so let's refrain from any kind of gambling on this one, shall we? When it comes to the question of who would win in a fight between a snake or a tiger, the answer is pretty easy to work out. Well, kind of. It really depends on the size of the snake, but assuming you're looking at an average size snake, like this python here, it's an easy win for the tiger, purely based on the fact that a fully grown tiger is not easy for any snake to wrap itself around. There's just too much muscle and bulk to make it feasible. Or to put it in a way more people will understand, it's like one of those rare man versus food episodes where the guy can't eat anymore because he's genuinely afraid for his life. So to sum up, the tiger wins without much fanfare. It would have to be a shockingly large anaconda for the snake to even come close to winning, and even then, it would need to be pretty lucky. Sometimes, kids, it doesn't pay to slither around. Number 13. Serval vs. Snake we hear a lot about tigers, cheetahs, lions, and other assorted big cats, but the serval tends to slip under the radar. Well, the human radar, anyway. They're very familiar to snakes, who often find themselves as unfortunate victims. The serval is a wild cat native to Africa, which also happens to be the home to many species of snake. So what happens when this surprisingly adorable serval happens to come across an angry snake? They do what any animal and or kaiju would do. They fight. After this serval finds itself on the receiving end of an attack, the cat decides it's time to kick up the heat and teach this little brat a lesson by attacking right back. As the snake continues to take shots at the serval, the cat swipes right back, eventually injuring the snake enough that the little guy can't even extend itself enough 
for an attack. Judging by the rules of nature, this snake probably didn't learn any lessons. This means that there are more servals out there winning fights against snakes on a regular basis. I guess you could say they're the undefeated champion of the animal kingdom. Well, a very specific part of Africa and against one specific animal. But hey, a win is a win. Number 12. Hyenas vs. Python the Lion King is an excellent source of life lessons, but the biggest of all should be that hyenas are pretty much the most psychotic animal on Earth. And that's a lesson that the python could do with learning once in a while. The African rock python is the biggest snake in all of Africa, still even the largest predators at risk of severe injury or death. This one, for instance, ended up lying in the middle of an African road for reasons we're not totally sure about. But regardless, when a pack of hyenas happened to find him, it didn't end too well. As the hyenas curiously sniff around, the slow-moving snake decides to lash out, which only made him more appealing to the hyenas. So could a hyena actually eat a snake? Absolutely. Hyenas are more than willing to eat just about anything they can get their teeth into. That includes everything from wildebeest and antelope to birds, snakes, lizards, and even insects. Seriously, anything with a heart rate? And you can bet the hyenas would be more than happy to chow down on it. Again, they're psychos. Number 11. Dog vs. Python we say it all the time. Do not mess with a mother. An angry mother concerned for her babies is going to cause an unthinkable amount of pain. As humans, we're more than aware of this, but snakes, they don't tend to learn life lessons. This giant python made a foolish and very avoidable mistake when it happened to get a little too close to some puppies. Believing that her babies were in danger, the mama dog came out to take care of the predator and protect her offspring before it's too late. Because as we've seen time and time again, there is nothing more dangerous than angering a mother. Seriously, can't stress that enough. You take your life into your own hands. Suffice to say the snake eventually realized that it wasn't a risk worth taking and slipped the way into the tall grass. But don't worry, that dog will remember the snake for as long as she lives. If he ever dares return, you can bet that the dog will absolutely rip the snake apart, and the snake will learn uh, absolutely nothing. Number 9. Rabbit vs. Snake Humans tend to think of rabbits as nothing more than vulnerable, slightly foolish prey animals for some inexplicable reason. That's not always the case. In fact, if you happen to tick off the wrong rabbit, you're going to be on the receiving end of some surprisingly good kung fu skills. Believe me, this snake thought he'd hit the jackpot. He'd found an unsupervised nest filled with baby rabbits just waiting to be eaten, but right as he was about to strike, his luck took a very nasty turn. Mama Rabbit was lingering close by, and surprisingly she wasn't all that into the idea of letting her kids get eaten. So the Mama Rabbit did the only thing she could, launched into a series series of surprisingly agile and well-placed martial arts moves, eventually mastering a backflip kick that, well, it's nothing short of perfection. I'm not going to be the one to compare a rabbit to Bruce Lee. Actually, no, I am. This rabbit is exactly like Bruce Lee, and if I'm going to be impartial here, the snake had it coming. He really messed with the wrong opponent on this one. Number 8. Turkey vs. Snake if you could only choose one animal to join you in taking on an angry snake, you probably wouldn't choose a turkey. In fact, most people would probably mock the person who picked the turkey, but hey, guess what? The turkey would win. Turns out that turkeys are surprisingly good snake hunters. Because they're omnivores, turkeys have absolutely no problem killing and eating snakes. as well as other animals like frogs and mice. So if you happen to have a backyard farm, a turkey may be a better guard animal than a dog. I mean, just look at the way this turkey drags the snake around until it eventually gives up. If that's not the kind of snake hunting prowess you want on your team, you may as well just go out there with a big inflatable clown balloon. 
because you ain't winning that fight. I guess this video is really about giving the turkey the respect they deserve. These animals aren't just disfigured chickens, they're intimidating and formidable animals in their own right. A good and well-prepared turkey will pretty much win the fight against the snake more often than you'd expect. I guess they give thanks for snakes. Number 7. Monkey vs. Snake we all know how intelligent monkeys are. We also know how much of a pain in the butt they can be. And snakes know that too. In fact, it may surprise you to know just how often monkeys and snakes find themselves facing off in the wild. Spoiler, it happens a lot. But who'd win? Good question. Monkeys are smart enough to know that hanging around a snake means you're pretty much staring into the face of death. So you can bet that when they fight, that monkey is going to be extremely careful. Snakes, on the other hand, know they have the advantage. A single well-timed bite could easily kill the monkey, so they can afford to just keep striking until eventually they land one. So I guess the winner of the fight seems pretty clear, doesn't it? But hey, the monkey still has a few tricks in its, uh, paw. Because they're so intelligent, the monkey will find creative ways to win, using tools like stones or sticks to take the snake down. Of course, the snake has venom, so the snake will almost definitely win the fight, but you better believe the monkey is gonna beat the crap out of it first. Number 6. Honey Badger vs. Puff Adder We're just going to flag this as a PSA once again. Taking on a honey badger is never a good idea for any living animal. That includes snakes and just about any other creature you can possibly imagine. These little guys are indestructible psychos. Don't be fooled. The honey badger is not immune to venom or poison. Actually, they can and sometimes do die from poison stings and bites. But more often than not, they survive thanks to their thick, tough skins. Take a look at this video. This snake is the Puff Adder, one of the deadliest in the world, with venom that can melt human flesh. The honey badger, however, fearless. Watch as it attacks and is taken out with a bite. What happens next, you may be thinking? The badger slips into a coma for a few hours and then wakes up. Its skin is unharmed and it continues life pretty much as though the fight never happened. That's just a regular day for the honey badger. This thing is an absolute maniac when it comes to hunting animals, so the fact that it can survive an attack from one of the world's deadliest snakes? Unsurprising. In fact, it's pretty much what we were expecting from this adorable little psycho. Number 5. Mongoose vs. Cobra Animals fight all the time, usually for petty reasons like eating one another's potato chips or deleting something from the DVR. Okay, I'll level with you. I might be thinking of my personal life here, but the mongoose and the cobra... Now there's a fight. While most animal versus animal fights are pretty rough, the mongoose cobra matchup is especially violent. Here you have two animals who are not only evenly matched, but perhaps perfectly matched to fight. The cobra is obviously pretty well known for its venom, but the mongoose? Well, you're only looking at one of the few and most capable snake fighters on Earth. In fact, the mongoose isn't just a snake fighter. Scientists refer to them as non-discriminatory predators because they will eat every single animal they can kill. And yes, that includes snakes. See what I mean when I say they're evenly matched? This is a fight that could easily go either way, but the mongoose is not a fighter to be underestimated. Snakes are constantly getting themselves in a fight with these things, and they never learn the lesson. But then snakes seem fundamentally incapable of learning anything, because, you know, let's not forget that they're snakes. Number 4. Iguana vs. Snake 
If you haven't seen this clip by now, have you even been on the internet? But hey, just in case you haven't, let me share with you one of the most heart-pumping escapes in the natural world, a lone iguana being pursued by an army of snakes. The clip shows an iguana peacefully sitting on a Galapagos Island beach, enjoying a regular day without a care in the world. Behind the iguana, a racer snake suddenly appears. The iguana tries to stay as still as possible, hoping the snake won't notice him, but it's too late. When the snake strikes, the iguana flees. The iguana has just one chance, run for its life. The problem, however, is that the snake has brought with him some friends. A hungry mob of friends, actually. Army of hungry snakes. That's impressive. Number 3. Ferret vs. Snake Don't be fooled by the cuteness of the ferret. This is not a herbivorous creature or a peaceful little guy. This is a small carnivore and they want you to know all about it. I think so anyway. I'm not totally in with the ferret community, so I don't get the newsletters. When ferrets get into fights with snakes, it's not so much about a fight to the death, although ferrets are notoriously quite good at killing them. Actually, it's more about protecting the nest. The snake, on the other hand, he only sees the ferret as food, and a ferret's nest is the ultimate jackpot as far as an all-you-can-eat buffet. So you can bet that the ferret versus snake matchup is formidable, to say the least. In fact, many animal experts advise keeping these animals as far apart as humanly possible. The only problem is that the ferret will be able to sniff the snake out pretty quick, and if you don't keep them under control, they'll go out of their way to try and kill the snake. And boy, will that be an important lesson for Mr. Slithery, which I just decided is the official name of the snake. Number 2. Bobcat vs. Rattlesnake A bobcat and a rattlesnake walk into a road. Which one are you more scared of? Turns out it doesn't matter either way because they're just going to end up fighting anyway. That's basically nature in a nutshell, isn't it? We don't really know how this particular fight started, but it's pretty clear that the bobcat isn't an animal to mess with. It doesn't take too long before the bobcat takes a decently sized bite of the snake, lifting it off the ground and showing just how formidable an opponent it can be. In fact, the rattlesnake doesn't really seem to have much of a chance here. Sure, it can and lash out now and then and force the bobcat to leap into the air, but for the most part, the cat is just biting and scratching the bejesus out of it. The snake may be fast and impressive, but it stands no chance against the bobcat, one of the fastest and most impressive predators in the wild. With its swift reflexes and speed, the bobcat is pretty much just a guaranteed winner. Any snakes watching? Just stay away from cats. It's not that difficult. Just stay away from them. I'm doing it right now. Now, number one, chicken versus snake. Yes, it's time for that age-old question. Could a hen kill a snake? Admittedly, it's not one of the most common fights you could hope to see in the wild, but it's not totally impossible either. The answer is, well, let's just take a look. As it turns out, the chicken is yet another bird that is more than capable of taking on snakes and winning. Yes, of course, they could kill a snake. In fact, they do. If a chicken happens to see a snake sniffing around a little too close to their eggs, you'll often see the chicken swing into action to protect their young the only way they know how. Pecking the snake to death, and it actually works. Who said chickens were pointless birds? Okay, nobody said that, but if they did, they'd be wrong. That's the important point here. Like all good mothers, a hen will do anything to protect her babies. If that means fighting a snake and pecking the spineless worm to death, it'll do that. And I'd guess that they don't regret the decision either. Not bad, little Miss Chicken. Not bad at all. Have you ever seen a snake start a very misjudged fight? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.